Coming up, we're taking a look at the Micro 3D Printer from M3D. The Micro 3D is an incredibly small 3D printer that weighs just two pounds. It's really compact, and although it looks simple, it really does have some nice features that makes it a pretty good choice for a first time 3D printer. Underneath the bed is a compartment for storing the spool of filament, which makes this super low profile. It has a removable bed, and although it's not heated, it is flexible with build tack, which makes it pretty easy to remove 3D prints. The 0.4 millimeter nozzle takes your standard 175 filament, and it's rocking a direct drive system, so you can print with flexible materials and even those exotic composites. Now, the only drawback other than the small build size is that it's not the world's fastest 3D printer. You can, however, print parts with fine resolution at 50 microns, and the surface quality comes out pretty good. For all the specs and more details about the Micro 3D printer, we have a written guide linked below. This simple hood for our GoPro took just 7 minutes to print, and it's pretty handy for capturing our time lapses, especially in the direct sunlight. It ships with M3D slicing software, which runs Cura under the hood, but you're completely free to use G-code from other slicers using a third-party app like MicroPrint. If you're looking to put it on a Wi-Fi network, you can totally run an OctoPrint rig with a Raspberry Pi. The Micro FIO plugin for OctoPrint is loaded with lots of features, so you can configure your settings, level the bed, and even update the firmware. OctoPrint really does make remote 3D printing more convenient, so you don't have to have a computer tethered to the machine. Now what I like about this is you can simply drag and drop STLs right onto the browser window. It's got the built-in Cure engine, so it's really easy to position and scale your models. This thing's so light and it's pretty crazy how you can just pick it up and take it with you. So that's a quick look at the Micro 3D printer from M3D. If you guys have any questions or you'd like to see some of your designs 3D printed, just drop us a line down below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos from Adafruit.